everyone. I welcome you to another edition of Moments of Motivation MOM with Sister Gladys Ngozi Ayao. Thank you for stopping by at your favorite YouTube channel. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as click on the like button. And also drop your comments if any. The topic of today is the abundant mercy of God. The choice of today's topic was necessitated by the trending news on social media about the lady Mercy Mesoma Obi, also known as Ada Jesus, a popular comedian, a content creator, a young and beautiful lady loaded with lots of talent. No doubt, she has made a lot of people happy with her beautiful comedies. About the issue on ground, personally, I have watched the videos and followed the story keenly. I've also listened to the comments of many persons about the issue. Obviously, so much happened lately and it amounts to the fact that our sister made mistakes and faltered. I am not here to take any position or to judge or condemn or acquit anyone irrespective of what must have transpired between the folks. The question here is, what does Ada deserve? What punishment should be meted on her? Should Ada live or die? For many, they will say she deserves everything that happened to her. And for us, she should be forgiven and enjoy mercy. It is the prerogative of God to judge. One thing I know about God is that he is a merciful father. We live and move and survive every day because we have a God who is loving and merciful. His merciful love for humanity is without limit or bounds. His mercy is upon us, always in abundance. To emphasize the indispensable role of the mercy of God, since the year 2000, the Catholic Church set aside the first Sunday of Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday. At the canonization of St. Faustina Kowalska on April 30th, the year 2000, St. Pope John Paul II, the Pope at the time, gave a famous quote from the revelation of St. Faustina by Jesus himself that humanity will not find peace until he turns trustfully to divine mercy. If we live by the mercy of God, others should also be beneficiaries of our mercy. Remember, the Bible tells us that blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. He also shows us the path of mercy that not only forgives, but reaches out to human needs. Mercy is a love that responds to human need in an unexpected or unmerited way. Mercy is forgiveness. Mercy is also said to be compassion or forbearance shown, especially to an offender or to one subject to one's power. Mercy is a blessing that is an act of divine favor or compassion. Whatever has happened is a product of the environment which can facilitate or discourage interactions among people. The environment can influence people's behavior and motivation to act. People's orientation and turn in life are motivated by various factors, whether good or bad. No one has the right to assume the position of God over another. It is God who heals. It is God who restores. It is God 
who gives life. It is God who should be the judge over us all. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, who will survive? Psalm 123, verse 3. Let us all pray for Ada, for God's mercy, healing, and grace upon her. I also call on one and all to support whichever way best. Ada needs financial help and support. Now is the time to demonstrate the same love and mercy that we all have received. As a Catholic nun, I am on the side of mercy and not condemnation. I pray that Our Lady, Health of the Sick, we continue to intercede for Ada and all the sick through, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all and may God bless you. Till we meet again, I remain Sister Gladys Ngozi Ayon. Bye.